Hey folks, Whip here, and I just got home from my honeymoon. And I haven't logged onto the Empire server for nearly three weeks. I'm sure my base is totally fine and people aren't upset at all about the gifts, right? However, I was just looking on my PC and found this file. Hi, we're in your office. Yes, we took over. This we is take our place now. Oh, wait, maybe here's oh, yeah. here. Hello, testing. Hello, this One, is our two. office now. You're welcome. We're going to get you back for those wardens. Yep, thank you so much. We're um, going to team up against you, yeah. all of us. I'm going to control alt delete this right now. Give me a second. Yeah, we're going to take over empires now, actually. This so. is ours now. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Sorry. Good, good luck. Okay, bye. That sounds, that sounds fine, right? That sounds fine. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's go check on Gobland. Oh, uh, yep. I just, that's me logging in. That's me logging in right now. You all have been warned, chickens. I will deal with you later. I must check on everything else. The gold appears to have been rearranged, but it still looks pretty full in here. That's, how did somebody break through the barrier? This is a everything except goblin proof barrier. Look, even the chickens aren't in here. They know how to stay outside of the lore barrier. <laughs> Who did this? There are so many chickens. Oh my God, what is going on in here? Oh no, oh no. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, there's ch <laughs> there are chickens everywhere. Where are they coming from? Look at all the chickens. <laughs> you know what? At least chickens can't kill me, right? Chickens can't kill me, right? At least I have a great source of eggs. I have an excellent egg farm right now. Snort, snort, are you okay? Snort. Snort, are you are you okay, Snort? Oh, Snort's alive. Oh, that's good. Oh, everything's okay. As long as Snort's here, we're fine. Do I even want to know? Do I even do I even want to know? I don't think so. I don't think I want to know. Okay, one, we could utilize all of this chicken and create even more emeralds from our butchers. Please tell me the tavern's okay. Please tell me they didn't make it in the tavern. Oh, oh it's peace and quiet in here. Oh, it's peace and quiet. Where's the villager? Where is he? Oh, he's alive. Oh, look at you, buddy. Everything. Hi. I know. How's the tavern doing? Is it going? Okay. That, I'm glad to hear it. Is my house okay? Yes. So far, yes. Oh, the blow. Hi. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, everything's going great down in Tumbletown. Oh, good. Good to hear it. We'll get to upholding the law here soon because whoever did this, we can't let it fly. I just have to check on a few more things. How did you get in here? Who are you? What? Oh, chickens have even made it in here. Ah, hi, chickens. <laughs> hi, chickens. Oh, we got a box. You are fired. Excuse me. A warden? While I was watching you get married, place your badge in this chest. I'm so disappointed. Disappointy D and you. Disappointy D and you. Did I just get fired? You can't fire me. It's the sheriff who's turned corrupt. Not me. Oh, never. I am not corrupt at all. All I've done is uphold the law and give gifts to people around the server. Just wanted something for them to remember me by while I was gone on my honeymoon and I couldn't be here to play Minecraft with them. I didn't want my friends to forget me. Drastic times call for drastic measures to the cave of the law. It needs a better name. Jimmy may have been the one to transcribe the law, but he has turned corrupt. He's fired me. The man is lusting for power. He has to get rid of his own deputy. He fired me when I didn't even break a single law. Providing a warden for protection is the greatest gift a goblin can give. Let us consult the law. Do not disrespect the sheriff. I think he's disrespecting himself by firing his greatest deputy. Always trying to establish peace between empires. He's fired me. Snort's still there. We're good. Respect the land of empires. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Is Tumbletown doing it? I think we have to go look. There are absolutely too many chickens in here, but we have something more important to deal with than all these chickens. I've got a great idea for them. I'm just going to need a lot of signs and a book and quill because as a good deputy of the law, we need to take notes. We document everything. Is Jimmy worthy of the title of the sheriff or is he in fact just a pretender toying with our hearts? Mm, an unsafe working area. Unsafe. Very unsafe. Noted. Yeah, disrespecting his own safety here. First law, already broken. Doesn't have a good diet. Still leaving the pork chops and cave pickles in here. Not eating them. Come on now. Look at this mess of a storage room. Look how disorganized that is. Making Norman his current deputy living in this? How could he? How can you stand up for this, Norman? I thought you were also a deputy. We have to make sure he respects himself and respects everybody else. Okay, maybe Norman's living over here, but whoever the other second Norman is, he's being disrespected by being forced to live in a mess. Here's the so-called chapel of the law, disrespecting himself by just leaving the sheriff badge on the ground. He has to wear that proudly. I'm gonna borrow this for a second. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Don't worry. I think this is the fake copy, though. I think we have the real copy. Ah. Huh. 
Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Oh, it's great to see you here today. You're floating? Wow, that's impressive. Look at you. Apparently, one of Sausage's villagers is trapped in here. Um, I don't think that's really always trying to establish peace between empires. Is that establishing peace by trapping one of Sausage's villagers in a box? He doesn't even have a bed. Mm hmm. Hmm. What is going on in here? Hmm. This isn't a safe working condition. What is this? I can't help but notice the sheriff, self-titled sheriff here, is only providing that much water for all of the people of Tumbletown. He's not even respecting his own people. Look, the railroad just ends. And looking in here, he takes pride in closing. It's closed. The Tumbletown Railroad is closed. He doesn't even finish. He's not even respecting his own empire. He's not respecting the land of empires. <gasps> Another law broken. Let us return the copy of the Book of the Law to its lectern. And I've gathered a lot of valuable information here. Solidarity Gaming isn't even respecting the law himself. And yet he fired me as the deputy. It must be a corrupt sheriff. Look at this, we have seven instances of him breaking his own laws. But while I'm here, since he technically hasn't told me I'm no longer an ally, he just told me I'm not the deputy. He can have some eggs as payment. And I'm just gonna take the gunpowder. After touring around Tumbletown, I'm not sure the current sheriff of Tumbletown is the right sheriff. He seems corrupt and spiraling out of control. So I've decided to issue him a warning. If he does not follow the laws, I will call upon the empires to vote to see if he is the rightful sheriff or not. It is my duty as the true deputy of the law. This, however, this, this we need to deal with. And for that, I know exactly where I need to go. But first, I need to make a quick stop in here because I'm going to need a few berries. Now is my neighbor around here somewhere. There she is. Oh, perfect. Lizzie, I require assistance. Assistance is on the way. Oh, I forgot. I have the I have the emergency horn. It's an emergency? There's an what emergency. Is it? I've been invaded. What, what is the emergency? What? I've been, in, I've been by these. I've been invaded by these. Oh no! Yeah, I've been invaded oh, by terrible. those. Yeah, they are. They're everywhere. Hi, Ariana. Yeah, she likes to make her presence known. Yeah, I yeah. Uh huh. Does that okay. mean you have loads of raw chicken? I do. I have <gasps> here. This this is. I got that on the way over here. There are thousands of yes, them. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I see all the two-legged foxes down there. Do you have any? four-legged foxes I could enlist to help eradicate a oh, pest yeah. infestation. I still have some. They're all white, though. Actually, the white foxes like fish more, and the red foxes like chicken. Do you think the white one at least like to kill chickens? Maybe not oh, eat yeah. them, but like It kill will them. kill them if it's the only option it has. Do you want to take all three of them? Um, yeah, if you, I can, ooh, yeah, yeah, that would be great. I can return them. Oh, yeah, they'll do great work, I'm sure. Okay, come on, little guys. There's you, I need you, and I need you. Okay, come on, everybody. Okay, who picked up the lead, little one? Give me that back. Give me that back. Take that. That's better, right? Actually, you want this, right? You don't want that. You don't. You absolutely don't want that. Your child is being annoying. Are you trained killers? I lost another one. I lost another fox. Where did it go? You know what? The foxes are loose inside the cave. They will kill the chickens. Yes. Yes. Get them. Murder them. Eat them. I know it's not fish, but come on now. I lost the other... Oh, they're all gonna, they're all gonna die. Just for no reason at all, where does one find white foxes in Minecraft? I might need to acquire some white foxes in the future. Okay, as the foxes didn't quite work out, I think I need to employ the sword tactic and maybe a gift of a lot of raw chicken could be a great way to repay the foxes on top of the IOU. That was a baby chicken. That was a baby chicken. Where are they spawning from? Chickens are spawning around here somewhere. Is it down here or is it in the ceiling? I must know. I've got a theory there are chicken spawners all over the place. They're leading to points where all of the chickens are gathering because look how many there are right here. This isn't just like a chicken it's a baby. See? Are they in the ceilings? I feel like they might be in the ceilings. <gasps> what is that? It appears that they are in the ceilings, walls, etc. by this one being over here. And there's chickens inside. Hello, chickens. You're not getting out of here. I don't know who put you here, but I will happily take the redstone supplies. And it appears we have one fox still alive. Oh, I thought he died. Oh, look at you, buddy. Yeah, clean out the chickens up here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Good job, buddy. Good job. <gasps> another dispenser. Hello, chickens. There's many chickens down here, so there has to be another around. I'm just gonna keep on looking and see how many of these I can find. Right, there are so many chickens down here. Here we have number three, full of even more chickens. 
Right, this is a little slow chasing the chickens around everywhere, but if we take a seed, the chickens should come to me. And so do the skeletons. Now it's gonna be a lot easier. Flock to me, my chickens, flock to me. And right up here, I believe we have number four. Hello. See, buddy, I know you're trying to cook the chicken in your mouth there, but I don't think that's quite gonna work. Oh, the se a second one's alive. <gasps> I only killed one fox. I mean, Goblin is safety number one priority. Yeah, we didn't, no, we didn't, no, no, no. He's just misplaced. Unlike these chickens. Chickens are being quickly eradicated and look how much raw chicken we have. Look at all these chickens. What is that chicken doing there? I've been scanning everything and there's a chicken on a block. It says sus. Yep, I saw a dispenser. Take two. Oh, ow. Oh. Yes. Hello, chicken. Your time has come. Did I just hear chickens? I think I just heard some chickens. Any missing blocks in the ceiling? Ah! Yes, I just saw an egg. Wait, there's two, there's two. I just, I think, okay. Whoever did this, I'm starting to catch onto their tactics of how they hide them. Pretty sneaky, sneaky, but not sneaky enough for a goblin. Can't outsmart us. Duh, 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 skeleton, duh. Ah, there it is. Hello, chickens. Okay, that brings us up to seven. We have seven. I don't know how many there are, but I'm gonna do another lap around and see if I can find any more. The chicken levels are rising over here. There's a lot of chickens and babies. That means there has to be a dispenser somewhat nearby. Oh, that probably isn't a problem, right? Yeah. It's a waterfall, uh, a chicken fall. It's a chicken fall. Oh my, that's a lot of eggs. Come here, little buddy. Come here, come here. I now have spent more than two hours running around my base, killing chickens and finding these dispensers. Within stats, I've killed 1,092 chickens. I'm pretty sure that was under 10 before. There's another baby. You know what? We're going to leave them. We're going to leave them. If more keep coming back, I have so many other things I wanted to do today. I can't keep hunting for these things. If more chickens come, we'll continue the hunt later. But for now, I have all of this raw chicken and no idea what to do with it. Now that the chicken scandal is dealt with, I would like to continue my streak of being a great member of this server. Flying over to the great bridge that Pixarifs has built, there are columns available for each empire to lay their claim on the bridge. Before leaving for my honeymoon, I claimed this one. It's finally time to leave our mark on the great bridge. As I want to provide food for the entire server. I want to build a giant statue, but we'll get to that in a minute as I need a lot of blocks. We've got tons of stone in here. Dripstone block, dripstone points, cobblestone, andesite, a little deep site, some stone stairs, and slaps. I leave for three weeks and I can't remember where anything is. Tough, that was a tough one to find. Please subscribe. Over there, Rose. Gotta trade for some bricks to make a flower pot and a little glow lichen for ourselves. Finally, I have to jump into the vault and take a block of raw gold. I got to work building the statue on the bridge, trying to keep it rather simple with just stones to make it appear as aged, as if the colors have worn off as this has been part of the bridge for a very long time. But adding in some dripstone for the hair and using some glow lichen to provide some mood lighting, it's time to feed the people. And Goblin proclaimed. Let them eat pork. Well, that is after I get pork for the people to eat, where the first step is going to be getting rid of this egg and taking our raw pork, turning that for emeralds and magically duplicating the pork as two pork became an emerald. Now one emerald becomes five pork. Voila. Tons of pork has been acquired. We've got two full shulker boxes here. We can flop our way down the great bridge here and drop them off. The statue needs a name. Let me know if you have any ideas down in the comments, but these can be like little toe beans for the giant statue, yeah. But there we have two barrels full of cooked pork chops. If anybody needs a snack, they can come get it. And it's looking perfectly derpy and fantastic. Holding in one hand a pointed dripstone and in the other, a wither rose. And of course, in the middle, the raw gold amulet. Back home we go. Let's take a moment here to refocus on Gobland. I've taken the time to remove all of the chickens from the cavern but i also or not 
or I have not removed the chickens from the cavern. That chicken of the tower, he's belonged there since episode one. All these other chickens, they go. But anyways, well on my honeymoon, we traveled around Italy and I was so inspired by all of the towns we visited. I posted a ton of photos on Instagram if you wanna go check them out, but it's made me realize I want Gobland to feel like a full on city inside of the tavern instead of just buildings placed around the cavern in random places. So I'm gonna need a ton of dirt and I wanna start out planning the next expansion of Gobland. So I got to work placing down the dirt and etching out shapes for different buildings, trying to use the build as a way to shape out the roads themselves, but still leaving a little bit of space to detail when I get around to it. This is going to be a rather large project that keeps growing throughout the course of the season. And I swear I'll fix this eventually. But for today, I would like to wire their baby chickens, but focusing on building, building. We're here for building the old zombie village or trapping grounds where I had all of the boats out. I want to add a tower in right here, a little bit of an overpass over there, a big build there, and then have maybe one or two going around the bend. Yay for diagonal buildings in Gobland. Hello. Oh my gosh, a visitor in Gobland. How's it going? Hi, uh, it's, it's good. You've got a lot of flashing lights here. I yes, see. yes, yes, yes. Very, very attention grab about yes, how safe it is. I mean, I haven't been is. here in a while. It's grown. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just planning out the new expansion right here. Oh, it's going to be so good. Uh, I did what we... We, we planned, which oh, is that. Oh, right, the emeralds. Right. Yeah, I definitely didn't forget about that. Is this... Oh, you mean I can take this back? Uh, oh, no, no, I have a very, it. very good memory <laughs> over here, yeah. Okay, okay. Ooh. Does, does, that, does that do the do the deal? Ooh, you know, I think I think that works. Oh, thank you, false, thank you. Oh, this is good. I can finally finish enchanting problem. my tools. So about that, uh, have you got any more emeralds at all? So I haven't had a chance to get any more emeralds, but I could... I can get some more, some more books for some more emeralds. I like that. That sounds good. Okay. It's just, a, you know, it might be a good deal in the future. And also mm -hmm. that's not all the different kinds of books that, that <gasps> there are to offer. Ooh. So, you know, can definitely okay. bring in some different ones next time. I have been a very, very busy goblin gathering all of the materials for the new build today. We have four sugar boxes full of a bunch of stuff here. And you can tell it's been a while by how many stupid chickens are all over this cavern. Somehow I missed a spawner. I will find it and I will murder every single one of the chickens in this cavern. And once I find out who did this, know that if anything, I am petty and I will always go bigger on the prank. They're gonna regret this. Must preserve the grass. Must preserve the grass. Kill the chickens. Ooh, okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Ooh, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. gotta calm down. Happy builder flip thoughts. Happy builder flip, deep breaths. Builder flip, builder flip, okay. Ah! Yay, happy building times. We've started the first section of the happy chicken-free empire of Goblin, and it's so exciting to see all the chicken-free lands coming together for this build. However, I really wanted to add a bunch of buildings that share walls with each other, showing how tightly packed in the area is going to be as we add more structures, using different blocks for each building to help them stand apart, but trying to stay in the warm color toned vibe that I've been doing so far. These chickens just hit the ground right here. They just floated down right here. It's up there, isn't it? Oh, I'm finishing the build and we're getting rid of this chicken thing. Look at these chickens. I found it. I found the source of the chicken plague in this part of the cavern. Look at this. I think it might be up here. Yes, it is. Oh, they fell right there. Hello, chickens. As we tour around the building and show you what I've done, we can clear up a few of the chickens. Make me break my tall grass, stupid chicken. But we've got this big old tower over here with some lights and colors on it because I thought it was really cool. I absolutely love this one back in here. One thing that I love touring around the cities in Italy is there's so many overpasses and then you'd walk right underneath them. So I tried to mimic that here with the tower over here, connect into this side where I decided at the end to add this little extension guy out. It was really cool. And then a small little cyan house back in here that we'll keep building up and kind of move ourselves around the corner to here. But now it's really starting to feel like a full on environment in here. And I love the cave feel of having the tree just right here in the center of town. Gotta keep the atmosphere, but we're adding the city and we are removing the chicken. As Goblin grows, I'm going to 
to need your help. I have a lot of buildings that need residents. Please leave a comment with your empire Sona, including your character name, character race, class, profession, and well, your favorite snack or favorite thing to kill. No, no, snacks. But I want to get this video out as it's been quite a while as I was out of town for my honeymoon. So leave a like down below if you enjoy and please subscribe. But with that, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.